104.5, the team, it's LeVac and Goss, and joining us now in studio, it's another edition of the Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week, and joining us from Fort Ann, Tyler Madison joins us, and Tyler is a state champion in baseball, we'll get to that in a second, but let's look back at the start of the season. What was the goal of you and your teammates heading into this baseball season? Uh, the goal was uh, another state championship, you know, uh, junior year, we won one, and uh, we got that taste in our mouths, and you know, we didn't... Uh, didn't want to go out with a loss, but uh, you know, the I mean, we made it back to the state finals, and uh, I couldn't be any happier than that. Just uh, we, I mean, we came out with a loss, but you know, we went to double overtime, and I mean, we were just dead. You know, you could tell, but um, it was just a, a great way to, I guess, a, a good way to end the season. You know, not great, but it was still still a heck of a year. Yeah, absolutely, a heck of a year for sure for your team there. And take us through that moment. When you guys win a state championship for Fort Ann, yeah, it's it's amazing. Just because with the community and all and all the fans, with the support we have, um, we kind of do it for them, you know, more than ourselves, I guess. But uh, it's uh, it's amazing, and just be able to say that, um, you know, we're the best in the state is is unbelievable. Yeah, definitely some cool stuff there. It's Tyler Madison joining us here in studio. It's the Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week, and you can always nominate your athlete locally by heading on to 1045theteam.com and tell us what they're doing here in the Capital Region, the 518, and they'll hop on with LeVac and myself every Monday at 215. So, you play soccer, you play baseball, you're a three-sport athlete at Fort Ann, you've made all state at all three sports you've ever played. What is truly your best sport? Uh, um, I'd probably say baseball. Baseball, okay. I mean, I love all three sports, you know, in season. I mean, I love them. But uh, if I had to pick one, it'd definitely be baseball. I mean, ever since I was, you know, two, three years old, I just had a wiffle ball and a bat in my hand, and um, I just fell in love with the game. But uh, I, I really enjoy playing all three sports. And um, when soccer and basketball came to an end, it kind of crushed me just because I realized I'm not going to play them in college. But uh, when we won one in baseball – it was bittersweet because, you know, I just played my last high school baseball game, but now I'm going on to college to play baseball. So um, I still have that, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be baseball. Okay, baseball. So if we need somebody for our wiffle ball team in here at 104.5, <laughs> the team in the offseason, we'll just call you up, right, <laughs> intern here? Good. All right, they're very good. You talked about your collegiate career getting started next spring. You have committed to play at Bryant University, Division One. Why Bryant University, and what, and what also that recruiting process? What was that like for you? Um, it it actually happened very fast. Um, going into my uh my soft or my this uh summer after my sophomore um season, um, I kind of you know impressed a few people. You know, kept going and going, and uh, kept throwing the ball harder and harder. And um, actually, I was I was working with my dad when I got an email from Bryant, and they're like, you know, we want to. You know, they showed us everything, and they're like, we want to have you come down here. So I, I showed him. He's like, yeah, let's do it, you know. Um, and we went down there, and, and I fell in love with the campus and immediately. And then the facilities are phenomenal. And the coaching the cho- coaching staff is was unbelievable. They they were so, you know, kind. And they uh, we've asked people a lot about them, and they said they're just a great bunch of guys. And um, to and I, that's what I want to do, just keep getting better. And they said that they're great coaches. Um, and – I just always knew I had the small town feel, like because I'm from Fort Wayne, you know, it's a small small town, yeah. and the Bryant was a was a smaller campus, and it just had that feel, you know, it was back back a little bit in the woods, and um, it just had that, like I said, it had that feeling, so I fell in love with it. Awesome, man! It sounds like some good stuff you're going to be doing over to Bryant in the upcoming springs. You talked about throwing on the mound. Are you coming in strictly as a pitcher? Are you going to come in as a starter, bullpen? Have they given you an idea of what it looks like next year? Um, well, I. You know, coach, I've been in contact with him a little bit, and it's just going to be strictly pitching. But, um, you know, they they hope I can come in and um, be a starter. You know, and what they call is a weekend starter. So you're in, you know, you play a game Friday, two Saturday, and one Sunday. So hopefully, I can crack one of them. Um, you know, get out there just so I have a set in stone. So you know, my parents or you know, and or um, my friends and family can come out and watch just so they're not. You know, if you're in the bullpen, they kind of don't know which game you're pitching. But, you know, that's that's a goal I have in mind, just to be a starter first year. I used to cover college baseball. That's a good spot to have. Because yeah. all your friends are there. The crowd's got a little mm-hmm. bit more energy. Yep. Some people might be on the opposing bench, might fire you up a little yeah, bit. So the weekend yep. starter's a good way to go. Tyler Madison joining us here from Ford, and he's our Cat's Eye Pest Control Athlete of the Week. Make sure to go on 104.5theteam.com to submit your own Athlete of the Week, and you may hear them next week. He's off to Bryant University. He's been all state in all three sports he's played at Fort Ann, both soccer, basketball, and baseball. But maybe even more important is that he finished in the top 10 academically in his graduating class. 
your advice for student athletes here in the Capital Region to both study in the classroom and continue to excel on the field? What was the best advice to manage your time there? Uh, um, just time management is a huge thing. Um, you know, there has been many times where we've I've had the opportunity, you know, to just go hang out with my buddies after school or, you know, just go, you know, mess around with people. But, um, you know, when there's a paper due, you kind of have to put that in the front and leave the, everything in the, in the rearview mirror kind of and make sure you get that done. And just staying on top of your work is the biggest thing. You know, just getting stuff done, not waiting last minute, that, you know, procrastination's not good you know I found that out the hard way a couple times <laughs> but uh no it's definitely you know this year I, I really stayed on top of my work and I had a heck of a senior year just because I didn't have to worry about you know work overload and it was just just one thing is uh time management definitely the biggest thing I don't have to tell you this because you already know all that and you laid out all the points there but Having that same thing to take to the college level when you're going to have practice and film and this and that, you manage your time in college and you're a student athlete, you're going to be just fine. And Maybe we'll see your name on some all-academic teams in the conference going forward at Bryant. We'll close with this, man. The summer, you got a little bit of time before you head off to Bryant University. We didn't do for the next couple, eight weeks here locally. Well, actually, I'm uh, I'm pitching with the Glens Falls Dragons. It's uh, in the perfect game collegiate league. And I actually have a game tonight. I'm throwing in that one at home. Um, but it's a very, you know, I'm really honored to be able to you know, playing that league, just, it's a great learning curve, you know, because I, my first time out, I understood that you can't just throw fastballs to guys, you know, you have to, <laughs> you, have to you got some D1 hitters out yeah, there like exactly. yourself now, right? Exactly, and, uh, you know, they're a lot better, so it's, it's, um, I'm really glad I did it just to understand that it's a different ball game, and um, what you have to do to get better, so I'm really looking forward to that, and seeing how much I can mature through the summer and, and, and learn through it, but, you know, after that, you know, just trying to stay, you know, have as much fun as I can before I go to college, you know, work a little bit, but, you know, enjoy my, my classmates just because, you know, our class was so, so uh, close and, you know, going off to college is going to obviously split us up, but, you know, hopefully we can keep that bond. One of the youngest players, I'm sure, in the perfect game collegiate baseball league, pitching for the Glens Falls Dragons, the Amsterdam Mohawks here locally, the Albany Dutchman. I'm sure we're going to have some of those guys from those teams on with us in a few weeks, but we're glad we got a guy from Ford and a 518 zone, Tyler Madison off to Bryant this spring. Tyler, best of luck, man. Enjoy the summer. We're going to be following your career for the next few years. And hopefully weeks to come here in the PGCBL. Take care, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me.